Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Boldis and Big Bad Brad at Spud Valley Sporting Goods in Pemberton. Um, here to tie a fly for you tonight. I'm going to tie a jig fly. Something I used all summer. I used it in the rivers. I used it in the lakes. I caught so many fish. I don't even. I didn't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing for the rest of you. That's what I'm starting to think of. But um, yeah, I just. I, ha I had a great summer with this. I tied it. I start. I started tying it as a just as a nymph without the hackle, and then that worked so well. I was like, well, I'm going to try this. I'm going to add a hackle to it, and I did, and it worked better. So. Of course it did. You know why that yeah. is, Scotty? I'll tell you why. If you look at any mayfly pattern known to man, known to mankind, it's got a hackle. Yeah? Especially in the nymph form. Well, it does, 100%. You look at any of the greats, yeah. it's got the hackle. It's got the hackle. Well, this 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 pattern worked really, really well. Um, you can fish it in. This is a size 10. These particular uh, hooks, a size 10 is a fairly large hook. It's, it's bigger than proportion to say a, a Mustad or, or a Tiemco or any of the other styles hooks. It's, it's actually fairly la a large style hook. Um, I would tie it for, with the Hanak hooks, size 10, size 12, size 14, and I most commonly use size 12 was, was my favorite. gotta do with what they're eating, buddy. <laughs> straight up. You, you, gotta straight give them, up. you gotta give them the right size. So yeah, I mean, I, I had it in all three sizes, um, but they didn't, they never lasted long. I, you know, I would tie five and they'd be gone. I'd tie five and they'd be gone. Well, it's so, probably me coming behind you while you're preoccupied <laughs> podcasting. Yeah, out there, yeah. Right? Someone else coming behind me <laughs> catching all the fish. Eh? Is that what you're saying? No, yeah, hell okay, no. Well, that's hey, what, that's what 50, it sounds like to me. Is it sounds like someone if, is catching all the fish. If you put 50 fish on that fly, buddy, I don't even know why we're sharing this damn thing. Well, that's that's the whole thing. You know, it becomes, it's going to clean yeah, the rivers. Yeah. It, it, you, there's going to be nothing left to fish for anybody else. Shit. Well, they're barbless. Remember. You they are put them, and, put them back. Yeah, and not only that, the barbless part of this hook is, is just awesome. I mean, you pick that, all you got to do is grab the hook and it falls out. It falls out. It, it falls, falls out. out. Yeah, so. Okay, let's get to the tie. Okay, here, let's go. Scotty. Okay. Which is my style, unlike other people we know. <laughs> we won't mention any names. <laughs> we won't mention any names. Okay, so we're going to get that, that, uh, that hook on there. I'm going to turn it a little bit. And get our thread on. Wait a minute, are you saying I make expensive flies? <laughs> <laughs> I think you just have a lot of time on your hands sometimes, maybe. You didn't get the invite to Superfly, that's for sure. <laughs> because Yeah, I... you need at least ten materials to get the okay, invite to Superfly. So we're gonna put our Coke Leon on for our tail. Um this is hen hackle. It's a little not quite as stiff as the uh, as the rooster. But quite a few, quite a few fibers. You strip them off, making sure to try to keep them aligned. And you want your tail to be a little bit bigger than the barb of your hook. So there we go, right about there. Making sure to try to keep them aligned. And we're gonna tie it back. <clears throat> Keeping that tail on top. And we're just going to tie it in. Then we're going to get our wire. And I really like this hot yellow. Hot yellow from Ultrawire. I think that was also one of the attracting parts of this fly that did so well. I'm going to tie this in. Hey, let's uh, let everybody know we're live. We are live. We're live. This is if a live show. Questions for... I'm probably going to break my thread. Twice. Twice? Like it, <laughs> like it did last. We already did that. It's all done. Yeah. I know. Did you see it right at the end, too? I was just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm through. I'm cruising. I'm cruising. And then bang. Right at the end. Wow. Break it twice. Okay, so we got that on there. Then we're gonna use our bleach ginger. Again, I'm still 
fully addicted to Spiky Squirrel. Well, using it, man, that stuff is fishy. Using it in all its forms and all its colors. Yeah. We've seen all the Spiky Squirrel at Superfly Scotty Holmes. Oh yeah. And the full squirrel bodies. Oh frick. And all the tails. Oh, I love it. I tried to sneak one down my down my jacket, but they they frisked us on the way out. They did. I would. Not like nothing crazy though, like no like probing anything or anything. Zach's reaching out to us from uh, okay. Vancouver here. He says, uh, "Really glad my thread didn't snap yeah. on the first one." He said, "Yeah, Not laughing out loud there." Well, mine did, Zach. So shut up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> on my like, first fight, on the little I bastard, I think I broke it three times or something like that. Yeah, like, exactly. it was crazy first back then. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to keep this wire out of the way. <laughs> um, you want to keep this profile of this fly. Fairly slender because I want it to sink. I generally fish this for the river, probably two to three pieces of split shot, maybe more if it's if it's fast and on the river, full sinking line or intermediate line. Or oh, sorry, on the lake. What am I saying? I already said the river. Okay. It doesn't really matter how much you have there. Okay, so we're going to wrap our wire up. Don't get it caught in your tail. And I wrap it right all the way up and I'm going to back wrap over that. Get rid of the wire. And then we're going to tie on our, our Coq de Leon <laughs> hackle. It's so quiet in here. <laughs> Comparatively, it seems like I always get the like the end, the last show, which is the quietest. Yeah, so the store's closed now. Yeah. Okay. You can hear uh, crickets in the background. So you want, you want this to sort of end up about three quarters down the end of the tail if all goes well she's picked the right size hackle so we're going to tie this in you don't need that many wraps make sure you get the convex side down come on And I want to keep that, I didn't strip it all the way. I just want to use a few of those fibers to hold it in there and make sure it doesn't come out. What are you, what are you laughing at over there? Are you oh, looking, it's, you're, it's you're looking like you're you can, laughing you at me? You guys got a mustache or something? No, 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 we don't no, have, okay. you can't okay. do that anymore. Oh, well, yeah. we probably could, but program. I haven't Okay, so. I'm just going to build a little bit of the thorax up, give myself something to wrap my, my hackle up over. I know you do. You guys got something going on over there. Not at all. No. no. We're, we're reading the, the live tracks. The live tracks? Yeah. He's like, I miss the, I miss the mustaches, he says. <laughs> the best. Yeah. Yeah. I do look good in a mustache too. That's the thing, right? Yeah. Like you, when you pick on somebody, at least you're picking someone that looks good in a mustache. I used to have a mustache years ago. Okay. Uh, and as you do this, it's really critical to make sure that your bead has actually fallen down and sitting in place. I have tied flies where I didn't actually look and then I get there and my bead's not sitting down to where it's supposed to be. Yeah, there's a slot in those beads, right? Yeah, yeah it has to sit down on the slot or, and reality being there's a lot of material that needs to go in there if you want to, like you're never gonna cover that slot on top. You can sort of, no. sort of see it. It's always, it's gonna, always be gonna be there. So if you try, you're just. You're gonna end up with everything falling off the front of your bead. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna wrap our hackle up.
Just coming together, buddy. It's coming together nicely. Oh, we're actually watching it on on live television right now, along with the other thousand viewers. Good, good viewing tonight, there, Scotty Holmes. Popular dude. I didn't cut my stem of my feather quite tight enough there. Okay, so we got all that. We got our hackle on there, and it. It is about where it's supposed to be, about two thirds down the tail. And then all we're going to do is we're going to finish it off, give it a little bit of depth around the head. And as I tied my demo, I broke my thread. This thread is. There we go. Okay, so we got enough dubbing on there. And all I'm doing is I'm just trying to accentuate the. the the face, the head of the fly. Give it some depth. That's Give right. Give it a little bit of depth. So you could do that with a little hot spot too. You could. Have you tried? I, it I, I, I did try with red. It didn't work near as well. It didn't, eh? So no. dark. Makes sense. Okay. The other thing is, is that these beads, because of the way they are, they tend to try to cut your hook as well, or your thread at the end as well. So I'm going to tie in one quick whip finish just to make sure that things aren't going to fall apart if I do break my thread. Just quick a little off. backup. A little backup, yeah, that's it. You need backup. And then I'm going to tie a little bit. A little, a little bit more, more black. Yeah, they do have a lip, don't they? So yeah, no, we do for sure. There's a slice or slot slit in the back of it to allow it to be able to go over that 90 degree turn. So that's always exposed. And yeah, sometimes when you're trying to do your whip finish, it catches uh, and pop, catches your thread. Yeah, be careful of that slot. Be careful of the slot. Nothing yes, worse. be careful of the slot. Okay, so there we go. Beauty. That's a sexy mayfly, bud. Change up the colors a bit. That can look like an emerging caddis. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And then, as always, right, the fly rides like this. Okay. okay. You're seeing a little bit too much yellow there. I should have, should have dubbed that a little bit better. I just didn't want to get in there. It looks good. It looks good. But that, there you go. So, simple hook, easy tie. How, you know, you, how were you fishing this thing in the stream? Were you just. Like nymphing it, like dead. Yeah, dead, dead drifting, casting we'll, upstream, we'll, we'll, we'll and then and then just um, bringing it back. Well, you did a lot of not indicator fishing, but more check style, right? Yeah, I I I don't indicator fish a lot, not as much as I probably should. You know, I probably might have more success some days if I did, but yeah, I'm more of a check style nymphing. Keep a high stick, cast upstream, strip it back. You know, keep it just trying to keep it on the bottom as as long as possible is, is the key, right? With this style hook and they have amazing success with the way they hook up to fish it's it, like I, I caught so many fish where it's just like pinned right in the center of their mouth right in the right in the meat mining spot where it's it's not coming out unless you let it unless you pull it out you know it's not coming down the side um getting into the the part of the fish that could break away under stress and under pressure right so yeah no they're they're great and as i said i, I fished them all summer long i fished on the lake, in the rivers. I really, I, I, Merrick got me a whole bunch of them when he was in check last year, and I just decided that I was going to embrace the whole science of what they are and really, really try to try to work with them, you know, and see what Jude they fly, do. Uh, hooks are, they're pot right now, man. They're very popular. I mean, I, I do a lot of reading about them, and I mean, it's it's hot. It's hot right now. Yeah, well, you were, I mean, let me see. I, mean, I remember we went jig fly fishing for steelhead years ago. Remember that? Oh, yeah. We were down on the, on the, on the, um. Yeah, well, the thing, we were using them on two hand fly rods. On two hand fly rods. we were rods, throwing, yeah. like, eight. You know, as big as a quarter ounce. Yeah. Like, you yeah. needed a, you needed a meat stick to throw that <laughs> thing. I'm not even kidding you. Like, yeah. I got a 14 foot, like, well, what's my, I got a nine a 12 or a 12 weight, 14 foot, like, but I tell you, man, there wasn't a steelhead safe when that thing was hitting the water. Yeah, no, it was it was insane. But I think one of those one of your one of your best pitchers is actually off one of those jigs, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, 
you know, that's it. There's uh, there's the fly for tonight for me. I, I was amazed tonight. I had a great show. I mean, Zach's fly was amazing. Brad's chili tom thumb. I mean, how nice is that? You know, a memorial fly to a great guy. We're all going to miss him. And uh, Scotty, your tie down in Edmonton was amazing. I, you know, oh, dude, it was It money. was sick. That money was sick. Fly. Yeah, like, hey, you know, the, you yeah. should have seen the boss lady's eyes light up. <laughs> it's like, that's my fly. Yeah, she jumped over the counter, yeah. grabbed Give me that. Give yeah. me that right now. Okay. Well, yeah, so a great show. Friday Night Flies is back. It's it's it was a long summer. Not a lot of shows went on in the summertime, but we were just too busy, man. Yeah, too busy, too busy catching fish, too busy guiding, too busy guiding. And if you get a chance, come out with me or Scotty. Hammerdefishfinder.com, man. Hammerdefishfinder.com. Yeah, we're just about to start our ice fishing season, so it's gonna be good. It's gonna get cold next week in Whistler. Next week, okay. Friday Night Flies, signing off. Till next time. Bye.